Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about how Variable Geometry Trusts, or VGT, can transform the future of architecture. I came across this book online called Robotics and Automation in Construction. It's by Carlos Pelega and Muhammad Abdurrahim. It's an open source book. It's available online for free. I'll link it in the description below. You can also purchase the hard copy version if you'd like. It's a collection of 23 chapters covering a variety of topics. For example, there's a chapter on using RFID and web technology in construction, another on improving sound transmission loss through glazed facades, and also a chapter on how automation can help in the conservation of historical architecture. Today I'm going to be talking about chapter 16, which is development of adaptive construction structure by variable geometry trusts. That's a mouthful. It's written by Fumihiro Inoue, and he talks about how VGT can help us rethink traditional truss design. Before we jump into that, let me show you what the basic components of a truss are. So a truss is a triangulated system of structural members, usually made of predetermined length and geometry. You have your top and bottom cords, and you also have vertical and diagonal members. What variable geometry truss proposes is replacing some of these fixed members with extensible members. In this case, if we were to replace these two members, it would look something like this. So I've replaced those two members with rubber bands. Let's see what the structure can do now. So when we replace those fixed members with extendable members, the behavior is no longer predictable and the overall pattern is undecided. The truss has an ability to adapt shape and hence it can also change the overall form of a building on a large scale. Sure, we have revolving restaurants and sliding roofs and stadiums, but they're all hinged movements. They all follow a predictable set of patterns. They don't change structural shape. The author also talks about the different possible uses of VGT. He says that we can use it as flexible roofs in performance arenas like music halls to enhance the experience. It can also be a dome that changes shape according to environmental conditions, and it can even be actuators that control the stress and vibration of a structure. The main two types of VGT are cantilevered and arch. A cantilever structure is supported at one point while the top is unrestrained from external forces. It's similar to a multi-jointed robot arm. It's easy to create several shapes and it can also be fixed at any point in time. Its pattern is more predictable. The arch structure on the other hand is far more unpredictable. While the ends are fixed, the rest of the structure isn't. So it can either form a wave-like pattern or it can form a volume change. It's a much more challenging form of VGT. Also, at an individual level, there are two different VGT components. It can either be a cord type or a pier type. As the name suggests, the extensible elastic member is either a cord or a pier. When comparing these two in terms of the stiffness of the overall structure, the precision of control, and the power of the elastic member, the pier type was much more successful than the cord type. Now we come to the exciting part, a practical real life application of a peer type cantilevered variable geometry truss. There was an expo held in Aichi, Japan in 2005, and they had an exhibit called Dancing Tower with Karakuri Doll Performance. The exhibit comprised of three VGT towers surrounding this little red box in the middle, which had a dancing doll. The towers mimicked the movement of the doll and in that way harmonized traditional technologies with revolutionary new ones. These three identical iron towers were comprised of four truss members combined with VGT at the joints. The total maximum rotation angle was 7.5 degrees inside to 54 degrees outside. It was an extremely successful exhibit. It operated for 13 hours a day continuously for 185 days with no breakdowns and no accidents. The exhibit accomplished what it wanted it enhanced this doll performance while wowing the crowds with this revolutionary new technology. I find this idea of variable geometry dress really exciting because we're not just transforming architecture on a superficial level. We're going to be able to create movable and adaptable buildings equipped with flexible and intelligent functions. Let me know what you think about VGT in the comments below. Do you think it has the potential to change architecture or it just works on a theoretical level? As always, hit the thumbs up button if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos on automation and building construction. Until next time, I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching.